He rejects everything, whether religious and philosophical or scientific. That is, in terms of ideas, he rejects things. It could be that his social life, his social circumstances were such that his rejection of everything uh, in terms of the ideas was in part a response to his having felt rejected in all manner of social world. You might think of Nietzsche, in fact, as what we today call an incel. That is an involuntary celibate. In other words, he couldn't get laid. And this, we would be naive in thinking that it had no bearing on his sensibilities. And for what it's worth, he ends up dying of syphilis, uh, probably contracted in one of the many uh, brothels that he would patron. 